40 million people visit porn sites on a regular basis. 35% of internet downloads are pornography, and it ain't just men, because a third of people watching are women. For a nation based on Christian principles, there's a god-awful lot of money and time being spent on naked people doing strange things in weird positions that a lot of people, including me, can only dream about. It's kind of strange that something so popular ain't celebrated on a national stage. I mean, the stats that the porn industry gets, I would have thought we'd have a national porn holiday by now, maybe right before Christmas. Most people might think that porn and religion don't mix, but I'm not sure that's true, because those people watching the most porn here in the good old USA live in the Bible Belt. Now, if anybody out there doubts the importance of porn to Americans living their best life, just do a quick Google search for porn statistics. And as much as you might want to cringe, the fact is a couple of porn sites are always hanging around in the top 10 websites that are visited. Of course, porn is just another way to visualize what people think about as they go about their boring and unfulfilled days. And we've been thinking about sex since the dawn of humanity. Fact is, kidmen were getting their game on way before religion was even a glint in some idiot's eye. And things only got worse with civilization, and it don't matter what civilization you want to talk about, because they were all into pornography. Good Lord, the Mesopotamians loved their porn just as much as the Greeks and Romans did, and that sure didn't change much during the Victorian era. Then back in the 70s, porn moved away from seedy little magazines to dingy, creepy, dark movie theaters, where it exploded to become our national secret pastime. But hell, the heyday of porn was just a couple of decades down the road, because once the internet and dial-up came into fashion, every kid on the block knew who Jenna Jameson was. Nowadays, we can choose our porn, be it orgies, role-playing, and if you like it rough or even weird, that ain't a problem. What is a problem is people, stupid people, evil people, wanting to define what porn is. And in their books, stupid evil people think sex is disgusting. Not because God said sex was disgusting, but because stupid evil people feel it's disgusting. Because sex, for whatever reason, is bothersome to them. And the fact is, attraction to the same gender has been around for an awful long time probably predating ancient Greek civilizations where it was first recorded. If you got problems with that, take it up with Sparta. They'll set you straight. When it comes right down to it, how a culture or a country establishes its views on sex is based on its religious morals. Back in ancient days, sex seemed to be everywhere till Christianity came along. Here in America, sex and pornography are a thing to wonder at. On one hand, we condemn a woman who works in porn, and yet a pretty woman on a can of beans makes people buy those beans, and it ain't because they taste any better. But for some really strange, obscure reason, sex seems to sell products. But if you put a picture of a porn star on a box of laundry detergent, all hell breaks loose. But if you want to sell a sub sandwich, insinuating a 7-inch sandwich is just as good as a blowjob. Well, that's okay. And we wonder why kids are confused about sex these days. It's because we're sending them mixed messages. It ain't what teachers are teaching kids in school that confuses a kid. It's their own damn parents for taking them out for a sub, reinforcing the belief that blowjobs are good. When we know sometimes that ain't the truth, because I dated a girl with braces one time. Advertising aside, sex has changed throughout the years. Back in my day, when I was stealing my dad's men magazines, sex was always tied to adventure. The hero only got laid if he saved a woman from some dastardly villain or worse. Except for Playboy. Playboy had stories too, but no one cared about those. Nowadays, porn is all about getting up in your face and committing to a position that your competition can't. High definition and virtual reality are also game changers in the world of porn. When you think about it, you got to believe that we, right now, at this moment, are living in the golden age of porn. 
No, Mama. I didn't do no video about porn. I promise, Mom. I did. Yeah, okay. You know, I... <laughs> I don't know what to say. For something that's so natural that we all do it, yeah, okay, maybe we don't have to share it with everybody, but come on, people. We all love sex, and you know it. So I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And for those people that are down in the Bible Belt, yeah, okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, when you're when you're really repressed, yeah, you act out, don't you? Yeah, with desires and dreams. Okay, I don't know what more to say. Life is weird. But tequila makes it all make sense somehow, doesn't it? Peace out. Love you. Have a good day. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Like go watch porn.